<laughs> there it is. I'll tell it once we're done with the morning routine. I don't know why that got me. Oh, God, that was funny. Good morning, or good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, the 18th. No news, only Tuesday. Oh, my gosh, yesterday. So I said I was going to do turnips. And I said I was going to go check my turnip prices like five times yesterday and I never checked my turnip prices and then by the time I remembered it was like too late already oh it was so dumb I was so terrible yesterday We'll pick this up and move this somewhere else. So, ah, let's go praise looks first. Oh, Celeste is here. Uh, praise beyond to Lord Helix. Hey, Celeste, Celeste Bell, Equesta Bell. Good morning. Aren't the stars just exciting tonight? Hootie Tootie, I almost forgot. I came here with another r recipe for an astronomical project. In a book I jotted down. I would like you to have it. Do let me know if you try building it, would you? Rest of your night. Starry Garland. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Did I not have... I didn't have that before? Huh, weird. So, today, June, August 18th, Microsoft Fly, Flight Simulator came out. And, of course, people are going around having fun in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Right, what else would you expect? I mean, it's it's probably fine. But the uh, the, it's uh, at Slasher on Twitter. Rod Brisso? I have no idea how to pronounce that. But it's at Slasher. It's people are gathering at Epstein's Island in Microsoft Flight Simulator and solving this case ourselves. That's pretty funny. I'll admit that's really funny. I don't see anything in there. Nope. So, you know, I, sh I should tell you about my day. So today was my first day back at the uni- I, Technically, I started university yesterday. I had a class yesterday. But today was my first day actually going down to the university. Right? No online class today I in person. And, oh my god. So I got up this morning to watch the Indie Direct, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. I do plan on talking about the Indie Direct. But I got up, I watched the Indie Direct, and it was like it was like 10.30 or whenever, whatever time the Indie Direct was, 9, 10, I don't remember. And then after the Indie Direct finished, and I was like, okay, I'm going to call parking, because I had a, I was having a problem with uh, getting like a parking permit for the college. 
So I was like, okay, I'm gonna call the I'm gonna call the university, talk to parking, and then we'll, that that should take a few minutes. Then at let's just let's say the indie presentation was at nine. So at ten, I would start the stream, and I had class at like one. Okay, that's our timeline. So I need to get to class by one, and I have to get part. I was up nine. This is it's nine thirty now. I call parking. And I'm like, oh, it'll just be a simple phone call. All I need to do is get a yes or no answer, right? That's all I need is a yes, do you have my parking permit? Or a no, we do not have your parking, right? A yes or no question. Simple simple question. Oh, labels here. I was on hold with parking for three hours. Because your school started already, I think. How was school? I was on hold with the parking administration for three hours just to get a yes or no answer. I tried calling them. They they have an email. I tried emailing them. I tried. Um, they have like a virtual like like an in browser chat function thing, like you know like a chat thing. I tried using that. It took me three hours to, f to get the answer, and it turns out it was a no. So I had to do it. So I had to do it all. So I had to get. And luckily, like once I had the answer, it was like okay. It was smooth sailing from there. Smooth sailing from there. Actually, my timeline may be off. Whatever it was, it was three hours. I get the park. I so they tell me no. So I go get the parking permit. Because the answer was no, that means I could just go buy it. Get it, rush rush into the shower, rush down to class, and I barely made it. University is a little bit of a drive. Okay, I didn't barely made it. I probably had like five minutes. But university is a little bit of a drive, and I, ha I have to take a bus. But goddamn, a three-hour car, or a call. Safe travels. <laughs> oh, what a day. What a wonderful day. <laughs> yep. Good. Don't get me wrong. I, I like I don't hate Kid Cat as much as I do other villagers. But I have been waiting for somebody I don't love to move. Because so far, everyone I love has wanted to move. But now, somebody I hate. Okay, I don't hate Kid Cat. I don't, do I hate any of my villagers? I'm indifferent to Rolf. I'm indifferent to Yuka. Kid Cat, I don't love, but I don't hate. And Tammy, I dislike. So I might be back later. Okay. I, I think tonight, tonight I'm going to work on the upstairs. And we're also talking about the Indie Direct, which I liked. I really liked this indie direct, but we'll talk about it. Yeah, let's, so let's see. I went down to the university. I had the class, which the class was 30 minutes longer than I was expected. Like, it, I thought it was like a shorter class. But no, I'm in class in a small room with 20 other students. Okay, it's not like the smallest room I've ever been in, but it's pretty small with 20 other students. For like an hour and a half. I thought it was only an hour long class. Uh, and I'm, I gotta wear a mask the entire time. And it gets... Wearing it that long. Like the humidity in my breath. Like starts... Like gets on the mask. And it just feels weird. That's why I can't wear glasses. Because like the humidity... Like you know I, I fog up glass. Very easily. Okay, admittedly, I don't need to wear glasses. Like, I'm actually... I'm the only one in my... F Me and my uncle are the only ones who don't need glasses. Everyone else in my family. Well, I mean, my younger brother is... Not the youngest. The youngest... But the the middle one. He's okay. He, he, his, his eyes are, like, okay. 
I mean, they could be better, but they're okay. But I'm, me and my uncle are the only ones with good eyesight. Everyone else... Nope. So what else? So outside of the indie direct, I did have a few other things today. There were there were a few things. I mean, Flight Simulator came out today, which I kind of want to. Part of me kind of wants to play it. I know it's on Game Pass, but I'm probably not going to download it. I don't need a baby bonnet. What else? Oh, there were a few game delays today. The game uh, Deathloop, which is that Bethesda game made by the guys who did uh, Dishonored and Dishonored 2. That I think is, in theory, has an interesting concept. And I think could be fun. That got delayed until next year. I don't know if we got a specific like quarter. I think it was quarter two, actually, now that I think about it. I think it got delayed until quarter two. Which is... Are we currently in quarter two? I think we are currently in quarter two right now. Because I want to say quarter three is like starts in like September. And then quarter four starts in De like December. And goes until like February. Because, you know, stuff economies are weird like that. Because I think quarter three starts in March. Or quarter one, I mean. So I need something comfy. Why do I have so many fish print tees? Probably, I think I probably know why. Something comfy. <laughs> Honestly, I could just wear this. Honestly, this fills, fits the bill. <laughs> Wait, do I have a better shirt? <laughs> um um what like a sandal, right? <laughs> it's the pink shorts that make it for me. But yeah, so Death Loop got delayed. Um, and another delay that I personally hits home. Well, okay, we did talk about, um, Sports Story getting delayed, which still breaks my heart. It, but it's the right thing to do. It breaks my heart. Another game that breaks my heart that got delayed was Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. They put out a delay and they used, like, mile. they, like, put, like, it, they, it, they made, like, a fake Miles Morales like, Spider-Man Miles Morales, they made, like, a, a fake delay letter and then pasted the Stanley Parable, like, over it. it. It was pretty funny. It was actually pretty funny. They also put out, like, a more serious one. But it got delayed until quarter one next year. And th this is, like, the third time the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe has been delayed. Because the original... Because it was originally supposed to come out in 2019 and then it got delayed until 2020 but they also because they, they originally made a joke at when it was revealed at the game awards they made the joke that hey it's coming out in 2019 and but hey at least because the joke was that the last of us won all the best writing awards so when it comes out in 2019 they're gonna lose to the last of us too which gets all the uh writing awards Hello. Okay, that outfit was dumb, but it was funny. I want something to go with this. I always have this, but I've never worn anything that goes with it. I should get something that goes with it. I mean, yes, but also no. How is my day? Uh, university. I was on hold for three hours. 
God, it, I was so annoyed at the time. Like, now I can laugh at it because it's been a few hours. But at the time, I was so annoyed. I was so annoyed. This is probably the best we're going to do. That we're going to get. Ah, I mean, the gray... The pink's okay. I'm so mad at my island. Ooh. Have it... Did, did you go in, tear it all down, redesign it, and then no matter what you do, you hate it? Because that's how it is for me. I tear down my island... And no matter what I do, I hate it. I hate it so much. I tore down a river. I got rid of my river and built a new one. And I hate it. Oh, do I hate it. Well, let's go sell some stuff in the shop. I also need to do turnips. I still cannot believe I forgot yesterday. Ah. What else? Oh, so there, there. Have, so we talked about Skyward Sword a few days ago, and like Sky, the potential Skyward Sword. Ooh, I might buy that drum set. I might also buy that chair, depending on how expensive it is. We talked about Skyward Sword and how that might be coming out, right? Like, there's a rumor there. Are, it was an Amazon UK listing, but it looks like there was another listing today for a Breath of the Wild two collector's edition. So we might, again, there, there's a Skyward Sword rumor, Breath of the Wild 2 Collector's Edition rumor. There's bit, people have been saying that it looks like it's more likely than not they're going to announce the Mario 64 collection sometime in the next week. There were leakers saying that we were going to get an Indie Direct this week and a Nintendo Direct next week. And the Indie Direct happened. So there is a good likelihood we might... 106... There is a good likelihood we might get a Nintendo Direct soon. Um. Okay, that could mean any. Having a 106 could mean anything. Okay, let me read this. Well, not exactly. I'm finally deciding to restart my island and take everything down like you said. But I have so much terraforming and so many flowers to take down. But I'm worried it's not going to look good. But I also need to worry about bells and moving everything where I want. And it costs 50,000 bells. And I have to worry about and none of it looking good. Exactly. Yep. I 100% relate to that. Tearing stuff down. Wondering will it all look good. And f you, you move all your flowers. And then the flowers sell for like nothing. And it's like, what? why am I breeding all these expensive flowers? They're not worth any money. Ugh. And just wondering if it all looks good. And Like, I, 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 I refused early on. I told myself, I wish this game would, would update literally anything. Exactly. I wish those quality of life updates were real. That, those fan ones. Um, like, look at this. I made the, like, I moved my museum, and I was like, oh, I'm pretty confident with where I'm moving my museum, and then I was like, oh, I want, up like, something here, and I want something here, and I just think it looks so ugly. Like, just, just the museum with the dinosaurs in front? Eh, that's not too bad. Step a few feet away? Oh, it's so bad. It all just falls apart. The lake looks ugly. Admittedly, I haven't planted any flowers here. But it looks ugly anyways. I also can't get a five-star island, which is driving me bananas. Because I should have a five-star island by this point. I should totally have that five-star island by now. I've done everything the game's asked me to, and it refuses to give it to me. Okay, let's... Come on, shooting star. I've heard two in a row. Come on, just give me another one.
three, two, one. I was joking! I was joking! <laughs> God damn it. Game, stop treating me like Fall Guys does. Oh, I only got one of them. Stop treating me like you like Fall Guys treats me. Okay, I got one. So I was play I was actually playing Fall Guys. Currently I'm just remodeling. I'm not really I'm not really I have these flowers to water and I gotta water some pansies. That's it. I'm not touching the rest of this stuff. It's too much it's too much of a hassle. And plus half of it's not even grown anyways. But I I was playing Fall Guys. I so I've gone there's the bullet costume. And I really want that bullet costume. But I haven't won a game in almost a week. I've been on a losing streak for the past week. I haven't won in like a hundred games. I finally won a game today. After over a week, I finally won a game of Fall Guys. I, I see that, Scorpion. After over... I Not only did I win one game, I won two games in a row. I was going to go through for three, and then I got stuck in a team game with horrible teammates. But I won two games in a row. I finally broke my losing streak. Uh, it's still, I'm still addicted to it. I'm not going to get that bullet costume. I want it, and I could technically buy the top half. But, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. God, Fall Guy, it's I'm still addicted to it. My hope is that the bullet co like maybe like a like a month or so, the bullet costume just comes around again. Cause I do want it, but I just I can't win. I've broke my losing streak, but I still I won two in a row, and then I played like another like ten games, and didn't win a single one. Ah. No, I I get what you're saying. There we go. Shooting star. You know, when when was the last time Isabel announced shooting stars for me? It's been so long. Because I swear Isabel used to announce it, and then she just hasn't. Please read chat and, or respond. No, yeah, I, I read what you said. <sighs> no, come on. That was three shooting stars in a row. Okay, maybe not. There we go. Oh, we'll have shooting stars in the morning. Oh, boy, we will. <laughs> Alright, let's finish watering those flowers. Game? Oh, it's a, just a huge delay. Yeah, I usually do have a pretty big delay. Yeah, I do have a pretty big delay. No, but nothing I can do about it on my end, sadly. Nothing I can do about it. I mean, I'm so surprised the stream runs half the time. Why did I come in here? Why did I go in? I know I needed a new watering can, so why did I go in Town Hall? Guess I'm just losing my mind. How? How?
How? I wish I had a PC. Yeah, I I have a I have a laptop and a capture card that's a few years old. But hey, it works. I'm on I was amazed at when the first time I tried it back in like like Jan was it January? I think it was January. I was so surprised it worked. I was so surprised it worked cuz I was not expecting it to. Okay, I don't need those. I don't need those. I want that, and I want that. Alright, let's buy a watering can. Hey, Psy. Psycoms. How you doing? Alright, let's go finishing watering up these flowers. I want to pick up something from the wedding area. And then we're... Oh, I... We'll also come back to the shop. Because I need to buy some customization kits. I should have just done that right then and there. But I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, I think I was somewhere in here. I'm... Oh, Head out amazing day. I'm back. Oh well, thank you. Yeah, and I'll uh, totally down to see you again. And when you when you got your island done, I'm I'll be I'd love to come see it. Or when and when I say done, I mean you just no longer can work on it, and you just have to call it quits, or else you'd be working on it forever. Ah, uh, that's how we all are. Let's go pick up some wedding area stuff. Do I want... Eh, let's just take the front table. I'll take four of the chairs. Yeah, because we can customization get them. Yeah, I, I do hope a Nintendo Direct happens next week. I mean, I know we're all starved for content. And that was seen, of course, the there were with the Indie Direct today. Even though I thought it was pretty good, there were always going to be people that hated it just because it wasn't a Nintendo Direct. That was kind of inevitable. Because people are... I, I mean, I think people are gone a little too crazy. But people are always going to want it. I think that's 20. Ah, let's get 10 more. Alright, there we go. Let's go work on the house. So, we got it. So, I do have all that stuff on the Nintendo Direct. And, ah, eh, let's just go through what happened. Or, the Indie World, as it's called. Again, different branding. And I, that makes all the difference. Like, that's why people were so disappointed by the last Direct. Is because it was called a Nintendo Direct. If they had just called it, like, a partner presentation, people would have been way more lenient on it. But that's just... That's that's what I think, anyways. But Indie World has its own expectations. And I said going into it, when I gave my predictions a few days ago, that as long as it gave me one game I was interested in, it was a winner in my book. It didn't matter how, what game it was. I did want Sports Story, but that didn't happen. But I'm willing to let that go. I just wanted one game. One game that I could be in, that I was interested in. And to my surprise, not only did that happen, but it happened in spades. This is by, in my personal opinion, people are have very specific opinions on indie games. 
and people like different things. But personally, I think this was the best indie presentation because there was not a single game I disliked. I liked every game show in, show, showed shown during this presentation. Not a single one disappointed me. That never happens. That never has happened before. And that's why this is my personal favorite indie direct. Is because nothing disappointed me. Not a game. And that that's fantastic. That's I'm there's so many good games. So many of which dropped today. Like so many of these games are available like right now. And a, a few of them I definitely do want to play. So it started off with Hades, which technically, that's that's the game that was ex made by Supergiant Games, who have ma made Bastion, they did Transistor. I've never played Transistor, I've only played part of Bastion, but one day I'll get around to those games. One day I'll get around to Transition and Bastion. They're on sale right now, you can get both Transition and Bastion for like 60 bucks. Let's make it blue. Or do I want pink? No, let's do a blue. Let's see. Let's see what pattern Sable has. Blue gels with green, if I remember correctly. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done color theory. No, blue blue meshes with orange. Yeah, blue meshes with orange. Yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, let's see. No. My first real orange is this one. I guess that's okay. I mean, I'm going for something a little on the weirder side. But yeah, so the first game they showed was Hades. And Hades looks pretty decent. I think I, I'm kind of interested in that game. I don't know. I need. I want to play Bastion and Transistor first. Replay Bastion. I, I, well, I don't think I ever beat it. So that's what I mean when I say play Bastion. But uh, it looks fine. Let's do a cherry wood. Next up, there was H Hypnospace Outlaw, which I kept confusing with Hyperspace Outlaw, which is a different game. Or is it? No, that's Quadrilatic Cowboy. I think it's called Hyperspace Outlaw, which is like a shooter. But this didn't look too bad. It's like a 90s inspired game, but you're like a hacker on the 90s internet, which seems kind of fun. Yeah, I could totally get down for that. Yeah, that's kind of what I want. Let's place a wedding chair. Let's put another wedding chair here. Next up, they showed off Spiritfarer. This is the one I'm super excited for. I think this sounds... Spiritfarer sounds super interesting in my book. I'm totally... Like, that, that sounds so good. It looks really good. It, and it dropped today. Oh, also, uh, Hades is going to have cross saves and comes out in fall. And Hyp Hypnospace Outlaw comes out in like two weeks. But yeah, Hades has... Uh, or, I mean, Spiritfarer came out today. I was looking at buying it. It's 30 bucks, which is a bit... I mean, technically, that's not that much money. 
Like a triple A AAA game would be like way more. I need a wooden block toy. Like a triple A game would be way more money, but it's it's on the cheaper end. So yeah, I mean thirty bucks, but I don't. It's a lot. It is a lot for me personally. I mean, I just bought. I just had to buy like almost two hundred dollars worth of college books. So I'm kind of strapped for cash. Next up, they showed off a garden story, which has you like playing as like a grape. And I, this 2021, I don't know. It look it, it looks familiar. It's like a little like adventure game, but I'd be lying if I didn't say it looked fun. I'd be lying if I didn't say it looked fun. It's definitely something I'll keep my eye on out, out for next year. Next up, there was Subnautica. So, I... I want one of each. I own the original Subnautica on PC. I've owned it for, like, years now. I bought it on, like, a Steam sale. My PC, however, is not that great and cannot run it. Run it well, anyways. So, especially, like, once the full... Like, I bought it back when it was in beta... I have not played it since the full release, and it's definitely something I'm going to need to get around to playing. And if it runs well on Switch, which I hope it does, it's definitely a game I will check out. Definitely, definitely. You know what I want to do? I'll, mo I'll move it over one in a little bit. Hey yo, Ethanella. How you doing? But yeah, I, I'm I'm a su I a Subnauticon Switch next year sounds great. And they're also porting they're also putting the sequel on Switch. I did not know Subnautica had a sequel. I'll admit that ooh, That is not something I knew. So Yeah, cool. I or I don't think it's out yet. But Subnautica has a sequel, so I'll have to play that at some point. Because that doesn't sound... Subnautica Subnautica's fun, fun and scary. So yeah, a sequel, which is like ice-themed, I guess, because it's called Below Zero. Sure. Do I want to craft a... Ro I kind of want a rocking chair. Next up was Takeshi and Hiroshi, which is like... it's It's got like a claymation animation style... But you're, like, a big brother creating a video game for his little brother. And you gotta, like, balance not making it too hard. It's, like, nine bucks. And it's available right now. I don't know. It seems okay. It seems okay. May may maybe I'll check it out. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Next up was Raji. An epic... An ancient epic. Which is, an which is a game based on, like, India... Ooh. I just heard pupper fights. Ooh. Ooh, uh, where was I? Yeah, Ra Raj, an, uh, an ancient epic. It looks, it actually looks pretty decent. It's also available today, which makes me wonder, did, like, something happen at Nintendo? And, like, they had to, like, but they, like, kept putting off this presentation. And as a result, a few games got delayed. And this was one of them. Because I, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Because, like, there were so many games that were just like, hey, it's available now. So it makes me wonder if something happened behind the scenes at Nintendo. L like, or if they were like, they kept delaying the showcase. And because of that, when they finally decided to do it, they could just drop a bunch of games at once. Do I? I might have that Apple chair sitting in storage. If I do, I'll pull it out. I know there is egg stuff. 
But yeah, it, it looks pretty good, actually. It looks pretty decent. I don't remember how much that one cost, but hey, I might. I, you never know. You ne do I want that diner stool? I, I guess I do. Next up was Baron Breakfast, which just... Just on the name alone, I'm interested in. Baron Breakfast. Oh, what a great name. What a great name. <laughs> oh, I love the sound of it already. Already, and the art style looks pretty decent. I'm. It's, it's a timed exclusive. It's coming out next year. But I'm already totally sold on it. Just, God, what a great name. Also, one of the NPCs was named Aaron Burr. So, yeah, sure. I do have some apples in storage. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Next up was A Short Hike, which is a game I feel like I've heard about. Laura K. Buzz must have talked about it at some point. Because it seems like a game that's right up her alley. So I'm guessing she did. But yeah, I, th I think it looks decent. I I, I don't know, it's, it's like four bucks. And a lot, some of these games I've talked about are on sale right now, so if you want to get them at a discount, you totally can. Not, I mean, not by much, like 10% usually, but hey, some of them are. Next up was Card Shark, which is made by the same developer who did uh, Rain, the Rain games. I think there were two of them. And there was also a Game of Thrones one. I never played one of the Reigns games. I heard they were good. But I personally never played them. I, I did. I have played like similar games. Like I played Democratic Socialism Simulator. Which is in like a similar style. But Reigns itself. Nah I never played that one. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'll play this. It all really does depend. Then there was... But yeah, it, Card Shock itself actually looks pretty good. Like, I could totally see myself being into that. Oh, I like that it rolls. Oh, right dab in the middle. So this is my weird assortment of chairs. I need to put some stuff on the table. I need to put some stuff on these tables. Like, take one of these. Take one of those. Take this mug. Take this dog. Let's see. Uh, short hike. Uh, next up, Torchlight 3. I'm not really into, like, Diablo-style games. So, I, I don't know anything about this one. But, or at least it looks like a Diablo-style game. I, there's just it's just not my style it's just not my style can I put I can good I want something else on the table Ooh, a candle. I do need... No, I need I need a teapot. So let's maybe get rid of the card. Let's get rid of this mug. I, kn I know... But I need a teapot. There might be one in the store, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, I have one right there. I have a simple kettle. I need one more chair. Next, so, Torchlight, not something I care about. Manifold Garden, which is a puzzle game. It reminds me, recently, uh, Super Liminal came out, and it reminds me of that. It seems to be kind of similar ish. I don't know, Super Liminal looked good. Super, or Super, uh, correction, Super Liminal was a fun, enjoyable experience. Like, I, I enjoyed it well enough. Then, yeah, this looks fine. This uh, Manifold Garden looks fine. I also I think it also came to Xbox today. There were a few other games on here that came to Xbox today. Like uh, Spiritfarer, I think is also on Xbox Game Pass. 
Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Next, um, after that, they showed off Evergate, which I can only describe as Ori in the Blind Forest light. It looks just... I mean, the art style isn't actually that good, in my opinion. The art style looks like one of those... Like, if you go to the eShop right now and look at, like, games for under a dollar, you'll see a lot of similar-looking games. Like, it, it's just a very simplistic animation that I can only describe as, like, Flash, even though I not I know it's not Flash. It's got, like, that style of, like, a Flash animation. It just, it looks weird, in my opinion. I don't know, that's all I can say. It just looks weird. Gameplay-wise, it's Ori. It's, I, I guess Tim Getty said it sounds like Ori, so I'll just take his word at that, because I've never played Ori. But it looks, it looks fine. I mean, it, it, I mean, it's more Ori. If it's good, it's good, sure, but, I mean, it doesn't look great or anything. It just looks fine. It's probably the least interested I was in anything. Then after that, there was an indie game reel. Uh, they talked about Red Lantern again, which I think got a re is still set it, slated for fall this year. Unrailed, which is a game I've heard interesting things about. Inmost, which is Chucklefish, but it's got some beautiful pixel art. She Dreams Elsewhere, which is, I think it's an Earthbound-like. I've never heard of it before, but it looks like an Earthbound-like, so who knows? It might be good. It might be good. Uh, there was Goner 2, which I've never played the first Goner. There was Grindstone, which is like an Apple Arcade game. But I heard it's like a good Apple Arcade game, so it might be good. It might be good. And then they ended off with... They, they they were like there was all these gooses honking and I was like oh is this gonna be Goose Game two that's a fast turnaround if so it isn't instead on September twenty third ent entitled Goose Game is getting an update and it adds two player multiplayer which sounds amazing that totally seems like a game you could goof around with your friends with that sounds like so much fun and that's where the indie world ended. And yeah, I, just, I know I I know I've been all over the place because I've been trying to focus on this, but there were a lot there was a lot of stuff shown in like twenty minutes, and the again everything on that list I'm interested in, everything I just listed, I'm at least somewhat interested in. Sure, things like Evergate I think look kind of whatever. Oh, that's also available right now. So is a short hike that's available right now. Manifold Gardens available right now. I said Raji was. But yeah, everything in here I'm at least somewhat interested in. The only things at the bottom would probably be that Everfold and Torchlight 3. I guess Torchlight 3 would be the only thing I'm not interested in. But one out of, what, like 20 games plus the indie reel? That's a lot of games. And for me to be interested in 90, 95% of that, that's, a pr that's pretty good. That's pretty freaking good. That's why I think this is the best indie world yet. Because I personally liked everything in here. Not everyone will. Some people aren't, are going to look at all of this and not see a single thing they're interested in. Specifically the people who wanted Silk Song. I know people are excited for Silk Song. It's pro it probably wasn't going to come out this year anyways. And yes, Golf Story also got delayed. But hey, they delayed that in its own thing and we did get news about it so I'll take it. But overall, I mean, spirit, just Spiritfarer, get, getting that shadow drop today would have been enough to get me to, buy, to be excited for this thing. I would have talked positively about this thing if the only thing I was interested in was Spiritfarer. But they had so many other things. So many other things that I was totally interested in. And they also announced an indie game sale. Because usually after these indie directs, they do an indie game sale. This one isn't that great it's a few things i already own like creature in the well is on there which i do recommend creature in the well it's 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 okay and i think it's on sale for like 10 bucks and at 10 bucks it's definitely worth it um like i said the super giant games are like five bucks maybe maybe six bucks both super liminal and bastion uh ori in the blind forest is i want to say 13 i might actually pick that up i might actually pick up ori in the blind forest a lot of people, there were some things, along with Silk Song, 
people expected to see Fall Guys during this. Like I said previously, I don't think we're going to get Fall Guys for another six months. At least. It could be up to a year. I'm sure it's going to happen, but I'm convinced that Fall Guys is a timed exclusive on PlayStation. I don't think they've said that anywhere, but the fact that it's only on PlayStation, I'm just going to assume it's a timed exclusive for uh, PlayStation Plus. And maybe in like six months to a year, it'll be available. And there were, there were a few other things that people like kind of wanted to see here, but that didn't happen. And I'm not talking like Smash or the Mario Collection. No, I'm talking indie games. I personally wanted Dicey Dungeon. I'm sure it's still coming out this year, hopefully. But who knows when. But hey, it'll, it'll come out when it comes out and I'll play it regardless. Just because we didn't hear about it today doesn't mean that we're not going to hear about it in the future. Or that the, the like, like what happened with Sports Story, the developer can just talk about it in their own time. That's totally a possibility. Do I have a... I kind of want music in here, but I, don't, but I don't know what song I want. What music players do I have? I have a record player, a radio. I kind of would like something I could hang on the, like if I could hang like a speaker on the wall to play music, that would be really cool, but I don't think I can. So if you can't tell for what I'm going for in here, well, let's pick this up. This is my mad tea party. Once, when I got between the floor and the wall, I thought, you know what would look good in here? Like a Mad Hatter style tea party. And that's what this is. You've got all the crazy chairs. You've got all the different weird tables. You got some random stuff. I had to put tea in there somewheres. I had to put tea in there somewheres. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I really like this. I think this is pretty cool. It, it wasn't entirely what I had in mind. I mean, I know I wanted the dog to be on, on one of these seats. Like, I would theoretically like to put more things on these seats. But other than that, no, this is, like, being able to walk around the table. I know it's not that full of, like, a room. Like, I could totally do more stuff in here. But as, like, little crazy rooms go, I think it's pretty neat. I would have liked a better toilet, but I only have urinals in this one bidet. I think I do have a toilet, but eh, that's not important. As I have like an automatic toilet, eh, whatever. There are some chairs I like. I don't know. I think it's pretty neat. I hate that I can't get any uh, any in any of them. But yeah, I wanted like a little mad tea tea party thing. Hey, RTD Savage, how you doing? You see the indie direct this morning for Nintendo? Any thoughts on that? Yeah, it's just a little room. I don't know what music would go good with it as well. Like, even if I were to put a music player here, I don't even know what music would sound good. Like, I totally have, like, this jukebox that I can throw in, let's say, this corner. Let's see, what music sounds good here? No. 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 Nah. Nah. No, that's too ragtime. Isn't there, like, a KK Circus? I'm doing good, and I didn't look at the Indies Direct. Uh, there were, I thought there were some pretty good things in it. Yeah. Whitland Dixie. No. No. Nah. 
Eh. There's parade. Oh, there's a KK rag time. No. KK rockability or rockabilly. God, there are so many songs. I forgot how many there were. That may be what I want. I'm gonna look through everything, but I think that might be it. Stale cupcakes would probably be good. I mean, you're probably right. The problem is I already use stale cupcakes in another room. So that'd be too... <laughs> I mean, I might just... No. I mean, it's very soft. And in theory, that's not a problem. I think, I think Walt is kind of, like, it's not perfect, but I'm going for something a little, I like that circular rhythm. Because, again, this place is supposed to be just a wee bit mad. So I think a circular rhythm works. For, like, a Mad Hatter style thing. Not like I have Mad Hatter clothes. I mean, look what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> and then you gotta have the lights... I mean, like, I could put them out. The room has light in it. But just the faintest bit of it, like, getting right in the middle, I think looks the best. Yeah. Yeah, KK Waltz would be good. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I think I think this room is kind of nice. I would love to put more stuff on chairs, but I'm pretty sure I can't put stuff on most of these chairs. Like, oops, not not that one. This one. This one. Like, I don't think I can. Like, I don't think I can put the dog on there. Not there. Not on the toilet. Yeah, like, I think it would be funny to put, like, the isopod in here. I think that would look kind of cute and whatnot, but I can't. I mean, I could put it on the table, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. Not a, not a bad room. Not a bad room. I, f I t took forever for me to make. I mean, we're, what, 151 days in? Maybe 152. And I only now got around to doing my upstairs. Even though this is, like, super simple in theory. I mean, this ain't a complex room at all. Let's switch this one. And this one. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. 
I did consider making the table one longer by putting like an iron table at the end, but eh, I'm not going to do that. I, I like being able to walk around it fully. Yeah. That's what I, that's my idea for now. That's my upstairs. So now three rooms done. Now it's just now the only one left is my creepy basement. The only one left is my creep. Oops. My creepy basement. Who's that heart rug? I just, what I have in mind, I don't think is possible. I think some of the items to make the basement, like, super creepy, they actually removed from this game. I mean, I got some things, like, I got the arrow, the barrels, the freezer, the safe, some of the stuff I wanted, but some of it just doesn't exist in this game. The generator, it was a new leaf. It's not in this one. Eh, it happens, it happens. I wonder what my next rating on the Happy Home Academy will be. Am I finally going to break out of that B rating? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to do today. I talked about Colleague. I talked about the Indie World stuff. I gotta go back to the university tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be less. Now that I've dealt with, dealt with uh, the university parking, hopefully, it'll be less of a disaster. Hopefully, it'll be less of a disaster. I'm tired. I should just go to bed. Oh gosh, I, I went and got a shake from Wendy's. They have, or not Wendy's, Sonic. They have a s'mores shake. It's so good. Like, it's their best new shake in a while. Because they did a brownie shake. And it was just too chocolatey. It kind of tasted like coffee. Wasn't that good. But this s'more shake. So good. Oh my god. It's so great. I love it. I It, it, it hits all my... I, I like chocolate. But I don't like too much chocolate. And the s'more shake is perfect at that. Chocolate, but not too much chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's all I got. That's all I got for today. Um, I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow. I have no idea when I'm streaming tomorrow because I have class earlier than I did today. And eh, maybe I. Now I've got. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.